Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Anna Ng. My presentation topic is sexuality education and its implementation, the views of students and teachers of secondary schools. And then this is research sponsored by Hong Kong University Grant Committee. First of all, adolescents have been permissive in sexual attitudes, lack of adequate sexual knowledge, and they engage in risky sexual behavior. And these are negative consequences uh, to health. And for effects of school-based sexuality education, um, we find that school-based sexuality education can reduce risky sexual behavior, delay age of first sexual intercourse, effective use of contraceptive methods, and prevent of sexual violence or child sexual abuse as well as developing healthy sexual relationships. And from the literature, we find that students' perspective on school-based sex education, SBSE, is different from the school's management's view. Schools feel uncomfortable with certain topics such as masturbation, homosexuality, and these have to be related to demographic characteristics. And we should consider these factors in SBSE implementation. And for teachers, their attitudes it's also found in the literature, um, they might feel uncomfortable in teaching certain topics, such as spread dreams, masturbation, or diverse relationships. And some topics prohibit, are prohibited by cultural and social in inhibition. And they are more willing with some topics which they find are knowledgeable, comfortable, and important. So the efficacy of SDSE depends largely on students and teachers' attitudes towards SDSE, as well as their appraisal of sexual topics in SDSE. The objectives of this study is to examine students' and teachers' attitudes towards SDSE and study their appraisals, appraisals on sexual topics in SDSE, as well as to describe their opinions regarding SDSE implementation. Questionnaire design, we uh, first include purpose and significance of study and demographic, characteristics and also include some measure, measurement scales, including attitudes, attitude towards SBSE as well as sexual topics and their opinions on implementation of SBSE. And the data collection, we collect data through convenient sampling from three secondary schools and the participation is voluntary and anonymous. Informed consent of students and pa of parents are solicited and teachers questionnaires distributed with invitation letter complete the questionnaire returned to the mail. Participants, we include 818 secondary school students as well as 135 teachers. And the results. First of all, uh, we have uh, the percentage of maximum total score test score. So if they score less than 50, means very low score, and higher than 70, 70 means very high, and those are the low and the middle. Percentage. So here's the results. The test score students, we find that their attitudes towards SDSE, mainly you can see they're very high, so they support SDSE. And then the need for learning also high, very high. So you can see 93.1% students support school-based sex education. And then for teachers, also, they show also very high, 99.2% support school-based sex education. And both teachers and students hold positive attitudes towards SSE, and students have strong need for learning topics in sexuality. So teachers felt the topics were important. These findings facilitate the implementation of SDSE. Appraisals of sex topics. We find that the students um, and teachers, the need for the importance of compass learning all about the midpoint. As you can see, both students show, um, teachers and students show positive appraisal of sexual topics. So they are all about the Nippon. And comparison between teachers and students, you can see that both teachers and students are supportive, but teachers are more supportive than students. As, as you can see, the score of teachers are much higher, uh, or 10 points higher percentage is uh, 91.8 of students is 82.7. And comparison between students and teachers. As you can see, uh, teachers show more 
passed it in appraisal than students. These are the scores. As you can see, the need for learning is 38%, score very high. Importance of teaching for teachers, they score 77 or 6%, and comfort in learning for students is 48.8, almost 50%. But for teachers, they score 60% of teachers score very high. So when to start SDSE then? For students, you can see they think starting from primary four to secondary three, they tend to think they to start later stage of the uh, education. And then for teachers, teachers think SBSE should start in kindergartens. So they consider SBSE should start earlier at primary or kindergarten. What about the genders? For students, you can see that more than half of them think it doesn't matter or more of them will think, oh, mixed gender is okay. But for teachers, we find that they prefer single gender. So students do not matter class composition, and then they least favorable about single gender. And single gender classes, according to the literature, um, there might be a lack of opportunity to learn expressing themselves in mixed gender situation, and easier um, to meet the learning needs of individual genders. So, we can also see um, students and teachers' gender. Uh, for you can see the teachers prefer classes of the same gender, so they think the female teacher should teach female students, and male teacher would teach male classmates or teach uh, students. But for students, most of them, they do, it doesn't matter whether teacher is male or female. So the advantage of same gender between students and teachers. They can teach topics based on personal experience, such as male teachers can discuss black dreams with boys, and female teachers talk about mass menstruation with girls. So adequacy of teachers' uh, training. Um, we can see that um, students evaluate different, they, they have different views regarding teachers' uh, training. Teachers perceive inadequate in training of SDSE, but students find that, well, Maybe the teachers are adequate, as you can see the findings here. So they're different. And between the students and teachers, teachers are more positive in attitudes towards SBSE, and they are also showing appraisal, are more positive in appraisal of sexual topics. Conclusion teachers prefer arranging single gender class, and students know obvious preference. Teachers prefer teaching students of same gender, and students know obvious preference. Teachers perceived inadequate training, students did not think so, and teachers perceived inadequacy in resources, while students did not perceive much inadequacy. So these are our findings. Thank you.